Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys some products from doo -doo -doo -doo, the AIAawards.com. This is the American Influencer Beauty Bundle. They did send me this package for me to review and check out for you guys. It's not a sponsored video, but I did receive the box in PR that I wanted to share with you guys and give you guys my thoughts on the brand that's in here. It does come with six full-size products. The brand is Mana Kadar Beauty. I believe this is her, and it comes with all six of these products, full-size, no samples, full-size products, and... I wanted to come through and share you guys my thoughts on each product because I did use each product to, to create this makeup look. So I will definitely be going through and showing you guys each of the items that I got in the box and give you guys my thoughts on it as I'm going through the tutorial as well as there is a coupon code if you guys want to check out any of the any of their bundles moving forward including this one i believe it's still available by the time this video comes out so before we hop into the video I just want to say thank you guys for stopping in and checking out my channel. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, then definitely hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you do not miss an upload. And if you are already a subscriber of mine, turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload as well. And yeah, I am back to filming. I'm feeling a lot better. I've been, I was off for like a month and then I was back and I thought I was ready to be back and I wasn't ready to be back. So I'm back. I feel like I'm ready to be back. So I will definitely be putting out videos more often. I do upload at least once a week, usually more than that, but definitely I try to put out at least a video a week and I think I am back too ready to be on that schedule so i'm gonna hop into the video i'm gonna go through each product as i'm applying it give you guys my thoughts on how i like everything and i hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure you guys check it out i'm gonna be honest this isn't a brand i probably would have even gravitated towards but while i'm using the products i will say that i am pleasantly surprised so definitely stay through stay tuned through the video and yeah see what came in the box and my thoughts on the products as well thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the video and yeah i will see you guys in my next one bye guys I'm going in first with my primer. I'm using the NYX Hydra Touch Primer to apply to my skin prior to starting this routine. And then I'm gonna also go on with my Urban Decay Primer Potion, the original formula, and just apply it around my mouth. I find like doing this really helps with like that smile line and that creasing that kind of happens in that area. Next, I'm gonna go in with this setting spray. This is the Mana spray, which came in the box. Um, and I actually really like this spray. I've been using it a lot. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm going in with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation in the shade 300, which is Gabon. This is actually my perfect match. And I am actually gonna be going in with one of their brushes, which I actually picked up a lot of brushes from Juvia's Place to add to my collection, just so I can have some black home makeup brushes, which was on my black owned hold accountability video. It was on the list and these were one of the first things that I picked up from the list. So I am working on the list. I have not forgotten and I will be doing a haul once I've completed most of the list, FYI. Next, I'm going in with the I Am Magic Concealer in the shade number 11 to highlight under my eyes, my forehead, my chin. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade, I believe this is Congo. Um, that is the Magic Stick Foundation from Juvia's Place. I believe it's Congo. If not, I will have it linked down below. Either way, I will have it linked down below of all the products that I'm mentioning in this video. I'm going to use that shade to contour, and I'm just going to use kind of like a small brush um, from Moda to blend out the concealer and the contour. And I'm going to go in my Beauty Blender to blend out the highlighted points of my face.
Next, I'm gonna go in with my setting powder. This is Kalahari from Juvia's Place. So I'm gonna use that to set underneath my eye. I found with the Juvia's Place powders, it works best if I just use a powder a brush instead of a sponge to set those highlighted areas. You can find when I don't. I don't know, it just kind of sets in like creases and things like that. I don't know if it's because it's highly pigmented or what, but I like to use this with a brush, all of the Juvia's Place setting powders. the rest of my face. I believe I use the Mon Pressed Powder in Hermia maybe to set my entire face. Um, and again, I use um, some brushes from Juvia's Place, but their brushes are mad soft, guys. Like, definitely very, very soft. Next, I'm going to go in with this Manor Kadar translucent setting powder and I actually used this to apply on top of my brows just to get rid of like that kind of shiny waxy type of feeling that I was getting um, I don't do this all the time but I found that this powder actually really worked for this so I did like that um, so I'm going in with this um, palette here this is the volume 2 Saharan palette from Beauty's Place and I'm just be using this as my eyeshadow just to apply all over my lid just so I have some sort of cut of uh, pigment on my eyelids and I'm just using a really large blush brush to apply and blend that out as well this is like a really quick brush based makeup look so this is nothing too crazy it's very fresh face and it's kind of the look that I was going for on this particular day like most days next I'm gonna go on with the NYX uh, stay put liner in black if you guys know any black home liners that are good let me know down in the comment section this is kind of next on my list and I've been really so leave some down below if you guys know any. Now I'm going to go in with this palette from Madagascar. I'm going in with this blush um, from the studio and I'm just applying it to my cheeks. It's a really nice blush. Not one that I would obviously pick up on my own, but it looks a nice little pigment, just a little flush of color. Next I'm going to go in with my contour. I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Medium Dark. And I go in with the darkest shade to kind of chisel out my cheeks. I actually like this brush here from Juvia's Place. I don't know the exact name of it, but it came in a set. I love it. Um, next, I'm going to go in with the Mana Kadar Mascara. This mascara is the bomb, guys. I love, love, love this mascara. If you want full, just flirty lashes, these are it. Like, these, these, this mascara is the bomb. I'm not even going to lie. This is probably my favorite thing out of everything from this box was this mascara and the setting spray. And I think I used everything from the video and that pretty much completes the majority of the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's pretty much got a little show of some of the products from Madagascar. And I will have a link down below of where you can get this box as well as any future boxes that may come out because I believe my video is a little bit late but you still can get the Mana Kadar stuff from their site or from madakadar.com. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for stopping in, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!